Welcome. Today's lesson is on native plant seed dormancy. I have a series of uh, five uh, vid videos I'd like to share with you. I made them with Sue Fitz. She's from the University of California at Davis Master Gardener Program. And over the last few years, she has developed some terrific uh, native plant gardens in our area and in particular in our school. I'd like to share some of the techniques she shared with me. So I've caught her on video, kind of giving us a bit of a um, kind of an introduction to, to how to use these techniques uh, to make your native plant garden what it could be. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Okay, today what we're going to talk about are seeds, what makes a seed want to germinate, and factors that affect native plants and their seed germination. Before we get started, we kind of have to dis discuss what a seed is. A seed's got three parts. Uh, there's an outer um, seed coat, which is a layer around the whole seed that's fairly tough and usually has um, a structure that makes it hard and less, uh, it's not able to soak up water easily. That kind of protects the seed inside. Then there's a food source, which can be either um, starchy material around the actual baby plant, or else it's even integrated into the baby plant. And then last of all, there's the baby plant, which is represented by a very small root and um, leaves and a miniature stem. And each plant's a little bit different as to how everything gets packed in there. So those are the three parts of the seed, and when a seed decides to germinate, what we have to do is that this little miniature plant has to somehow manage to fight its way outside this really tough seed coat. And before it can do that, the situation outside the seed has to be um, ripe for the seed to want to germinate. Uh, if you think about it, a seed gets ripe on the plant. You don't want the, the seed germinating on the plant. Uh, you don't want the seed germinating as soon as it's ripe, even if it falls off the plant, because most of the time when a seed is ripe, that means it's the end of the season and conditions aren't right at that point to start a whole new plant. I mean, if it's back east, it means it's snow is starting to, to go out on the ground. If it's here in California, it means the water sources are drying up and it's going to be dry for the next five months, you really don't want a seed to germinate at that point. So um, basically the environment has to be just right for a seed to germinate and the plant has to somehow figure out a way to signal the seed that don't do it now, do it later. So there's all kinds of interesting chemicals that plants introduce into a seed and the seed coat to slow down germination so that there is a delay so that the plant, the seed doesn't germinate till the next uh, best time for it to start to grow. So the most common types of slowing things down, and slowing things down has got a fancy name. It's called do seed dormancy, uh, dormant because the seed's not actively growing or trying to grow. And there, the most common type is called physical dormancy, and that's because the seed coat itself is so tough that the seed, uh, the water can't get in there to, to start um, enzymes happening and uh, growth to start happening. Like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of these, please subscribe. So click the subscribe button. So on part two of this uh, series, we're going to be looking at breaking the seed dormancy, uh, some techniques like stratification and scarification. So if you'd like to see that, just stick around and we'll be giving you part two of seed dormancy. Thanks. See you later. Bye.